I'm Anne Dawson and I'm joined by David Westgate, the Managing Director for Lettings and Management for the Andrews Property Group, to talk about the effect of Brexit on the lettings market. So, um, David, what would landlords immediately mm. be concerned about as a result of Brexit? Mm. I think uh, the landlord community that we service is, is very different to the normal residential sales community. Uh, landlords specifically buy property to invest over the, over the medium to long term. So the only initial reaction we've really had is about the status of the occupiers in some of the properties, if indeed they're either EU, EU citizens or non-EU citizens, and as to, to whether or not they're able to stay in the UK over the next two to three years. So it's an interesting question, of course, because, of course, we don't know the answer. Uh, that's yet to be determined by government and EU. Uh, my own personal view on that is that we've got nothing to worry about. We, we house a, a number of people that are non-EU citizens at the moment uh, that live here on the basis of a visa uh, or a permit from an employer, and there's absolutely no issues around that. So we've been able to counter that quite easily. I, I really don't think there's any nervousness around that particular issue. We've talked um, earlier about um, property market generally mm. and uncertainty. Um, is uncertainty likely to lead to a change in the position of rent? Well, uh, that's a very interesting question. It's, uh, when there's uncertainty, people generally stop and think about what's going to happen. I think from a residential investment point of view, uh, ironically, it's actually quite a good thing because when there's uncertainty, house builders, for example, think about whether they're going to build or not and, and may stop building. This all leads to an uncertain uh, amount of supply of property and therefore existing rents, existing landlords and existing rental property actually become quite a demand commodity, uh, which essentially means that rents will be going up. So uh, I'm hearing from clients at the moment that they're certainly not panicking about this and actually looking forward to a period of of increasing rents over the next few months and years. So at the moment, we're not seeing any, any negatives on that at all. Are you expecting more people entering the buy-to-let market? Well, I think from a tenant side of things, I think potentially there's going to be more tenants looking to, to occupy property because they won't be making the big decisions on, on an asset purchase. Um, the interesting question is around landlords and whether they want to continue to invest in the sector. Uh, it's very interesting when you look, for example, at the long-term average property price. Uh, 20 years ago, the average property price in the UK was only 62,000. Today, it's around 260,000. So I think you have to consider with, with rental properties as an investment, uh, alternative investment, this is for the medium to long term. So I'm certainly advising clients of mine at the moment that they should seriously look at this as a buying opportunity. Uh, when there's uncertainty, there are opportunities out there to buy, but it's for the medium to long term. And what about legislation? Are you expecting, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in, in, in mm. all sorts of aspects mm. of Brexit, but are you expecting changes in legislation that are going to affect the landlord's position? Um, it's a really interesting question, isn't it? Because I think a lot of people have been talking about uh, the, the loss of sovereignty around uh, being a member of the EU. Uh, when we look at the property legislation in the UK, it's not particularly affected by European legislation. Uh, as you probably know, we've had a whole raft of uh, uh, English-British legislation around the rental sector over the last two years. Uh, so we have our own rules and we have our own regulations, we have our own legislation. Um, so if anything, actually, it's not going to make any difference being in or out of Europe around the legislation. Uh, there are some significant changes coming forward in terms of taxation on property over the next two or three years, both in terms of um, your initial uh, stamp duty and in terms of mortgage interest tax relief uh, that landlords have enjoyed for a number of years on any mortgages or, or loans on property. That is going to make some changes over the next few years. But again, I'd reiterate, property investment is for the medium to long term. There are a number of ways in which you can mitigate tax uh, and a number of ways in which you can actually have a secure long-term investment stream. Okay, so as a summary, what's mm. your message to uh, landlords out there? Well, I, I, I'm a great believer in actually looking at opportunities when there's changes in the marketplace and I honestly believe there are some potential really good opportunities out there at the moment for landlords to buy property. Um, it's a very, very good medium to long-term uh, income um, and asset management 
uh, uh, strategy for landlords. So, you know, it's a fantastic time to be a landlord, nothing really changes. On top of that, the financing around that is very, very interesting at the moment. There's some spectacularly low interest rates. Uh, you can get buy-to-let mortgages as low as 2.5% at the moment with no arrangement fees for fixed term periods. That's the lowest buy-to-let mortgages have been uh, since even pre the last recession. So if you can get uh, your finances right, find the right opportunity, I believe this is a great buying opportunity for landlords as long as they consider that over the medium to long term uh, uh, period. Reassuring news. David Westgate, yeah. thank you very much indeed.